I noticed a lot of beginner photographers I touch like myself don't know how to create focus separation action from scratch. We just tend to use other people's actions or the retouching academy action. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create focus separation action from scratch. So that when you're in a situation that you don't have access to other people's action or the retouching academy, you can just easily create your focus separation action and start retouching your image. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. To create your focus separation action, first of all, you come to your windows and just click on action right here and your action is going to show up like this. Then click on this hamburger icon right here and click on this button mode. So first you start creating your focus separation action. Let me go clear what focus separation is. Focus separation is when you separate your colors and your textures from your image. So that you can use your pixel brush to mix the colors and also you can remove blemishes from the textures. So to start creating your focus separation action, so come to your action and click on this folder icon right here. So once you click on it, we're going to show you set. So you can rename your set any name you want. I'm going to rename this set video tests for the sake of this video and click OK. So after you create your folder, any action you do right now is going to save under this video test folder. And next thing I'm going to do, click on this plus icon right here. So you just click on this plus icon and it's going to show you your action name. So the name of this action is frequency separation. So I'm going to rename this action frequency separation. And you can see this set right here, it says to this set. So you can leave it at default. I already have a set for tennis action where I put all my action I created and what I'm using. So I'm going to click on this video test right here. This is the one we just created for the sake of this tutorial. So after that, you can choose to set the colors of the action. So just come to this action and add any color you want the action to be. So I want this other shot to be green. I'm going to click on green. And after that, I'm going to click on record. So once I start recording, anything I do right now is going to save as an action and I can play it later. So the first thing I'm going to do, create a new empty layer right here. So click on this plus icon right here to create a new empty layer. So once you create a new empty layer, just press on Ctrl Shift Alternate E and create a stamp visible layer. So everything below that empty layer is going to add to the new empty layer I just created. So you can see right now we have the image on the background in the new empty layer. So after that, I'm going to duplicate this layer one by pressing on Ctrl J to duplicate the layer one. So right now you can see I have two layers right here, which is the layer one and the layer one copy. So I'm going to rename this layer, which is the layer one color, because I'm trying to separate the colors and the textures from this image. So I'm going to name this one color and name this one at the top, which is the layer one copy. I'm going to name it texture like that. So right now we have our color layer and we have our texture layer right here. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract the textures from this color layer. So to do that, I'm going to hide my texture layer and I come to my filter, I come to my blur, I'll click on Gaussian blur like that. And for here, you can set any radius that works best for the image you're trying to retouch. And you can come back here and change the radius if you want to retouch a new image. So I'm going to leave this one at 6.4, like this, and click on OK. And if you want to go back to change that radius, make sure this place right here is selected from the action. So just click on your action and make sure this Gaussian blur option right here that you just did is selected. So just click on it. I was going to show this icon right here. It means it has been selected. Right now, anytime you load this focus separation action, you can easily change the Gaussian blur radius instead of using just one particular radius. You can see right now, if I zoom in, the image is looking kind of blurry because we have only the colors of this image and the texture is no longer there. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to turn on this texture layer to bring the image back to normal. So I'm going to on the texture layer like this. And right now, you can see the textures are back on the image. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to subtract the colors away from the texture layer. So that's what I'm going to do now. And since I want to take away the colors away from this texture layer, I'll come to my image. I'll click on apply image. And once I click on apply image, just come to your blending mode. Change your blending from multiply to subtract. So I change it to subtract. Change this layer from merge to color layer. Since you want to subtract the color, so make sure you are selecting the color layer, which is the layer that contains the color. So make sure your color layer is selected. And after that, make sure your channel is on RGB and change your scale to 2% and change your offset to 128, which is the perfect number for 50% gray. So for the layer, make sure your color layer is selected and your channel, make sure your channel is on RGB. Make sure your blending mode is on subtract. Make sure your opacity is on 100. Make sure your skin is on 2. And make sure your offset is on 128. And click on OK. Now, next thing I'm going to do, you can see right now, we have the textures on this image and we don't have the colors on the image. So the colors are no longer there. We only have the textures on the image. So to balance this image, to bring back that color, 
the next thing you are going to do, come to your blending mode, change it from normal to linear light. And you are going to have a balanced image again. So right now you see, we still have the textures and we still have the colors. Now the next thing you are going to do, with your texture layer selected, duplicate your texture layer by pressing your Ctrl J. Duplicate your texture layer. The next thing you are going to do, press alternate to your keyboard. And you want to clip this high texture copy to the high texture. So once your alternate is selected, just make sure you are in between the high texture copy and the high texture layer in the middle. You're going to see this clipping mask. You should just click once and you're going to clip the high texture and the high texture copy. Now, once your high texture copy is selected, come to your blending mode, change it from linear light to normal like that. Now, the next thing you're going to do, come back to your color. Once your color is selected, create a new empty layer. So this empty layer right here is where we are going to be brushing on. So I'm trying to create a non-destructive focus separation so that if you make any mistake, you can easily erase the mistake you make instead of deleting the whole focus separation and starting all over from scratch. So just create this new empty layer and I'm going to rename this empty layer brush here. So this is where you're going to be using your mixer brush to brush if you want to brush your image. I'm going to name it brush here like this and click on enter. So right now, we have our color, we have our brush here layer where we're going to be using our mixer brush too. And we have our texture and we have our texture copy. This texture copy is where we're going to be removing the blemishes for this image. Now, next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to group everything I just did, which is from this texture copy to the color right here. So with this texture copy selected, I'm going to hold shift and click on this color right here. And it's going to select everything. Then I'm going to press on Ctrl J on my keyboard and just rename this group frequency separation FS and click on enter. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to my action and just click on this stop button right here. And once I click on stop, I've successfully created a non destructive frequency separation action. So I can just come back to my action, click on this hamburger icon again and click on this button mode. And right here, you can see the action just created, which is the frequency separation action. And you can see the color. The color is green because we set the color to green. So if I just delete this one we just did and just play the action, it's going to load the action. And it's going to ask me to put the frequency separation go show blur, which I want. And for headshot image like this, I use a radius of 10 to 25 to retouch headshot image like this. But for this image, I'm going to use a radius of about 10 and click on OK. It's just going to load for me. So you can see inside this action, we have our colors, we have our brush here, we have our textures. And if you want to remove blemishes from your image with this action, just zoom in, pick your close time tool, make sure your high texture copy is selected, and just sample from the close by area. For example, sample from here, and just print over the blemishes to remove it. And press alternate to your keyboard to sample, and just brush over the blemishes. Alternate to sample, and just print over the blemishes. So that's how you can remove blemishes from an image with this action. So this is the before. And this is the after. While if you want to use a mixer brush too, make sure your brush layer is selected, which is this empty layer we created. And just pick your mixer brush too. And for my mixer brush settings, my uh, width is on 20, my load is on 30, my mix is on 26. Mix doesn't really matter because this place is on transparent. And make sure this place right here is selected. And also my flow is on 20. And my sample all layer is selected. So I'm going to hide this high texture layer. So once I hide this high texture, I'm going to have only the colors of this image left. So I'm just going to use my mixer brush to paint on the highlights separately and paint on the transition between the highlights and the shadow just to make the image look smooth like that. So let me just quickly show you that and show you the before and after so you can see. Let me just zoom in so you can see. So this is the before and this is the after. Why if you want to move the blemishes, make sure your texture copy layer is selected, which is this first one right here. Pick your close time tool. Alternate to sample from a close by area and just brush over the blemishes. Hold on it. I'm going to see the sample icon. Click on the close by area and just paint over the blemishes like that to remove blemishes from your image with well, this method. When you use your close time to make sure your sample is changed to current layer. If your sample is changed to all layer or current and below, and I just try to sample and remove blemishes, it's not going to make the image look good. As you can see, it's leaving some patches which you don't really like. So make sure your sample is set to current layer and just sample and brush over the blemishes like that to remove the blemishes. So that's how you can easily create the non destructive focus separation action from scratch as a beginner photographer or retoucher. I know trying to retouch studio portrait can be difficult sometimes, but I have a video explaining how you can easily retouch studio portrait from start to finish. Click on the video right here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.